<clears throat> Can y'all hear me? So look, y'all. Um, can y'all hear me? Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, yo. Like this Kobe shit. This shit is like like the saddest day I've ever had. Um, it's been a minute since it's been a minute since I. Uh, really like cried since um when a person passed away um the the saddest the saddest thing for me is just you know just losing somebody that i like look up to so much like kobe bryant like well, every time i ever played basketball every time i ever made a shot it was kobe you know i i, I watched kobe for years and just the fact that his daughter went with the man It's just hard to watch, man. So make sure all of you guys, man, tell everybody you love them, bro. Like, don't do nothing. Like, life is short, man. And, and Kobe was an exceptional person. Like, he would send out invitations to my mom and my family to come to his events. And I'm just letting you know, man, life is short. Tell the people that you love, you love them right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. You know, uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm sitting here, over here watching the news. Um, and his daughter is also So yeah, man, look, I just want everybody to just take a moment Realize how precious your life is, man. And tell somebody that you love them now. If you love somebody, if you're mad at them, if if, if, if y'all don't get along, if y'all bumped heads, if you got something like that's holding you back from just saying that you love them, don't hold back, man. Don't hold back, man. Because I, I met Kobe on numerous occasions. He used to have an event called Kobe Day. Um... And, and him being Kobe Bryant, being being as, as, as famous and influential as he is, he didn't have to come say thank you for coming. He didn't have to do shit. But Kobe Bryant always made it a point to walk over to the people that he invited that came out to support him. He made sure he took the time out to come over, shake our hands, thank us for coming, get a photo with us, and just being a genuine person. And And it's just like... It's just crazy to think that life is so short. And, I mean, even look at how his life ended. His life ended with taking his daughter to a game, to coach, to be a great father, to just be there in her life. So I just want to tell you guys, everyone, all of my fans, all of my friends, all of, the, all of my enemies, If look, man, I love you guys, man. I, I, I don't want no problems. I don't want to fight with nobody. Like, like Kobe Bryant that that affected me differently um i don't even know how to explain it the last time i felt like this is when we lost michael jackson and and it just is like whoa you know like immediately i just thought about all the people that i know that that take helicopters or or fly on jets and, and i just want everybody to be safe man so i'm not gonna sit here and um you know, just talk all day on live, but I want you guys to know that I love you. Um, God loves you, and just make sure you always say a prayer. Tell everyone that you know if you love them, you love them. If you're mad at them, fuck it. Don't be mad at them no more. You can still be mad. Be mad at what you're mad at, but just be the bigger person and realize that life is short, and you have to spread that love while you can, because if, if when it's too late, it's too late. You can't, You there's no second chances in death. So you must seize the moment. Like, I try and tell everyone that I love them every day. You know, like, you know, I've had issues with people and I've reached out to them and let them know, hey man, I know we got issues, but look, I love you, bro. 
And, and I want everybody in the world to just take a moment and realize how important is it for you to be this man? How important is your point to get across for you to withhold saying that you love someone? And if it's not important, do it, man. Tell them that you love them, man, because once it's, once it's done, it's done. Like, I'm sitting right here. I've been crying all morning looking at looking at this, looking at this, looking at my idols, looking at my, my Michael Jordan is on the news. You know, my Michael Jordan is on the news. My hero, the person's name, that I, I say his name every time I make a shot. Every time I pick up a basketball, I say that man's name. I might have on Jordan's shoes, but I say that man's name every time I shoot a shot. Kobe, the same as I'm sure millions of you do. You know, it's just like, I've been crying a lot today. And, you know, I, I don't care if y'all think it's weird that I, I'm crying, I don't care. I don't care because this is my this is my hero. My hero, I lost my hero today. So, you know, like, that's my hero. That's, look at, like, this is my superhero, this is Superman. This is, this is my hero, y'all. Like, I lost my hero today. So before you lose yours, before you lose your hero, before you lose somebody that you love, before you lose somebody in your family, man, tell them that you love them. Tell them that you love them. It's just so sad, man. Helicopter. And it was his helicopter. It wasn't no rented helicopter. It wasn't no rented helicopter. He didn't lease a helicopter. That's like his property. But this is this is my reality. My reality is is watching my hero on the side of a mountain passed away. So I'm not gonna sit here and, and talk to you guys all day because honestly the truth be told, I need a moment to just gather myself. You know, the last time I felt like this is when I woke up and I found out that Michael Jackson had passed away. So to put that in perspective, I don't know how you guys feel about Kobe. Some of y'all might be other fans of other teams. I, I, to tell you the truth, I, I'm not no Laker fan, I'm a Kobe fan. That's what made me become a Laker fan. That's what made me even want, want LeBron to go to the Lakers was Kobe Bryant. So I just want y'all, man, like tell everybody you love them. If, if y'all fighting, if y'all angry about something, that shit is not important, yo. It's not important at all. I'm telling you, I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise, man. Call your mom when you're in this line. Call your mom. Call your grandma. Call, call people. Call them and tell them you love them. Because there's no second chances in death, man. There's none. Like, I love you guys. I thank you guys for always rocking with me, supporting my videos and all that stuff. But more importantly, I love you guys because you guys make me me more than you do anything else. And I, I, I love you guys for that. And, and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but today I lost my hero. And before you lose yours, tell them that you love them. And tell them every day. All right, so I'm about to leave, man, because I'm not in the right mind. I was in the middle of an interview. I was, I was supposed, I'm doing interviews right now, I'm at work. And I just had to cancel everything because I cannot stop thinking about Kobe Bryant. Like, I'm lost. I'm lost for words, but. And each other and, and love the person that you hate, man. If you hate somebody, just make it right, man. Life is short, all right? So that's my message to y'all. Rest in peace to Kobe. Rest in peace to Gigi Bryant, which breaks my heart so bad. Rest in peace to Everyone that was on that helicopter, everyone that was there, the other family, the pilot, the pilot's family, please just keep them in your prayers, man. Because I know that this, this is this is this one hurts. This one hurts, and I just want you guys to know that I love you guys, love one another, spread love, and just be happy, man. Because you never know when God's gonna call you home. Look at this. The NBA just canceled all the games today. They canceled every game in honor of Kobe Bryant.
That's my hero right there. Love you, man. I'm not be Kobe, man. Fuck, man. Not Kobe, bro. Anyways, y'all, this, this is a sad day for me, man. Sad day. Sad, sad day, man, for all of the world, man. I always think your superheroes are invincible, you know? So, once you realize that they're not, it hurts. It hurts a little bit more. Pray for his wife, y'all. Send your love. Respect their privacy, you know. I hope the media doesn't try and like, you know, that was a hero. That was, man. Oh, look, I love you guys, man. And oh, I just need a minute. Tell everybody you love it, man. Tell everybody you love it.